It was the 1990 World Cup in, in Italy. I was going to go to Europe on business for the newspaper I was running at the time to, called the National Sports Daily. So while I was over there, I was going to do some articles uh, on the cup. And an editor of mine came to me and made a suggestion. And I got to tell you, as a writer, I have fought editors tooth and nail all my life. I, I generally subscribe to the remark once made by an old newspaper man named Gene Fowler, who said, every editor should have a pimp for a brother so they would have someone in the family to look up to. But you know, so many sports journalists are shifted over here by themselves, ESPN, Sports Illustrated, Sports Radio, uh, the sports pages. But on, on NPR, I, I'm lucky. I, I can talk to a broad audience, to, to, to many people who, who, who don't even know anything about sports or, or care about them. Uh, still, what I fear is that because, because we mix up academics and athletics in the United States, it, it, it serves to make sports seem more important than, than art or music or, or, or literature. It, it serves to foster a more anti-intellectual atmosphere. There, there are no primetime games between Oxford and the Sorbonne. It's our peculiar modern institution. Sports is a, is a unifying element, and, and I think I'd have to say at the end of the day that I'm proud to have spent a lifetime as, as, as one of its troubadours. Thank you so very much.